In this week's collection on AdoreThem.com, we're talking about pacifiers. And there is a surprising amount of stuff to say about this topic. Um, but something that I think is really common for new moms, um, or even if, you know, maybe the experience is different from baby one to baby two or two to three. Um, you know, we all know all too well that each kid is very different. But um, it's a question of should I give my baby a pacifier? And... I am very big on pacifiers, um, especially with my first son who was colicky. You know, it, it was a lifesaver. It was something that we absolutely needed. Um, and I think there's a lot of fear surrounding it. So the, the first things, you know, what are the concerns? It's the concerns of nipple confusion. You know, if I give my baby a pacifier, are they ever going to latch correctly? Um, there's the fear of, you know, are they never going to give it up? I'm going to give my baby a pacifier and they're going to have it till they're five. Um, and, you know, <laughs> I, the, along with those two things, I never had an issue with nipple confusion from from day one, um, he would t pretty much take whatever we put in his mouth. And I know not all kids are the same, but but I, I have a feeling that some of it was because we introduced him to these things earlier on, um, that it kind of made more sense to him. So he could take a pacifier, he would breastfeed, every now and then he would take a bottle. Um, and, you know, we didn't... We didn't make a big, big thing out of it. Um, and then in regards to weaning from it, you know, on, on AdoreThem.com, I have a whole blog post about weaning from the pacifier without tears. And um, it wasn't, again, it wasn't a big thing. It was just like, you know, a stage of development. You teach your kid all of these pieces um, and, you know, it's like we put them in diapers and then eventually they potty train. I feel like it's a similar kind of thing. They have a binky and then eventually they don't. Um, and we learn how to be okay without it. Um, it's just kind of part of that process. Um, but as far as, you know, giving your kid a pacifier, um, we, I don't want to say we forced it on him, but we had to make it a point. Um, with my first son, you know, he did not like the one that the hospital gives you. Um, we tried a bunch of different brands and there was one brand in particular that he tended to do better with. But even that, when he was very young, he would suck on it a little bit and then it would kind of fall out of his mouth. And we almost had to teach him how to use the pacifier and you know, hold it in his mouth. <laughs> um, or, you know, especially like in, in car rides, um, if we had to go on a longer car trip, like it was like holding the pacifier in his mouth. Um, so it was kind of like teaching him how to do that. And once he got the hang of it, it was very, very helpful. And of course, you don't want to use the pacifier as a tool to hold off um, feeding them. You know, if they're truly hungry, you want to make sure that you're feeding them. But I found that as well that like if they're hungry the pacifier like they're gonna let you know that they're hungry they're not gonna settle for a pacifier that's not delivering milk um they will let you know very quickly that that is not gonna do the trick um but you know for my first son who whatever you want to call it uh high needs strong willed um colicky whatever you want to say um we needed that pacifier and when he would have those mega fits my trick was if I couldn't get him calm down I would um, I, sometimes he would get so agitated that I couldn't even like he wouldn't latch he wouldn't breastfeed he was just so upset um, so what I would have to do is I would go into the bathroom and I would turn on the faucet which made that like white noise that kind of stopped him in his tracks for a minute and I would pop the pacifier in while he took a break from screaming and he would suck on the pacifier and then once he was calmed down a little bit from that with the white noise I could substitute the pacifier for the breast and I could kind of like switch it off and then he would drink and he'd be okay um but we we really you know that pacifier was wonderful and then my second son kind of took to it a little bit quicker um 
he seemed to like the same brand that my older son did um and it was something that he didn't he wasn't he was a much happier baby um for the most part until he started getting ear infections and even that you know it was just kind of helpful um to have it as an option it was it was a soothing thing it was another thing that i could offer them when they were struggling um it was another tool in the toolbox um so i I think you can tell from that that like should I give my baby a pacifier I'd say yeah um, I I think it can be really helpful um, if if they don't need it great if if you feel you don't need it as a tool great um, but but I don't think I think it gets a bad rap sometimes and um, I think it can be very helpful you know just like anything else it's it's something that will help you along the way and yes you'll have to teach you'll have to get rid of it eventually um, and there's ways that you can approach that um, but I um, yeah I mean I think overall I think it's I think it's a great resource oh the other thing I wanted to say too was that um, there is research out there um, that says that it can even possibly help prevent SIDS and things like that. Um, you know, that kind of that sucking reflex is good overall. Um, it helps, helps them practice that, um, and, and can, you know, prevent some scary things potentially. So I would encourage you to, um, to do your research, to figure out, you know, Get, try to get a clear picture of the true risks rewards of this and it's something you know that that I had a really good experience with in both regards that it was a lifesaver while they took the pacifier and and still even though we really leaned heavily on it in the early months it wasn't a huge deal to get rid of it later we took steps to just gradually be able to move past that stage of development so um my answer, you know, should I get my baby a pacifier? I say sure. You know, I I think yes. Um, but if you guys, um, as always, have any feedback for us, feel free to reach out. We love to hear from you and hear your stories of, you know, pro pacifier or um, against pacifier. Um, I know that there's people in both camps. So, um, but I think overall, which a lot of our theme come back to is like, do what's going to be best for you. Um, and do what's going to get you through the day is <laughs> usually the moral of the story in those, especially within that first year of having a baby. Um, but we wish you the best. Bye.